Okay, well, hello, people, and welcome back. It is me, a British guy, in yet another game. All right, this time, people, we're playing a Rec Room on the Oculus Quest, okay? There's a couple of things in here that are slightly different to Orbus, which we took a look at in the last video. And I just wanted to run through another couple of things that you guys might find interesting. Now, please, please, please bear in mind the graphics in here are terrible, all right? The graphics on the Oculus and in VR in general, on the headsets that we're playing on, are pretty basic. Now, that being said, we are at a very interesting point in technology, people. So this headset is totally freestanding. I've got no wires. I'm not connected to anything. I can move around as I want, okay? Everything is independent of itself. And the price point for this piece of equipment is like $300. Right, so while we're in here, you can see my avatar here, all right? I want to show you a little bit in here of the storefront. Okay, so this game, again, has a storefront, right? Everyone has a way of buying and selling. So in this game, here, down here in the, in the bottom left here, this is my tokens. You earn the tokens in this game by playing games, by, you, you can actually top up with real money. Look, you can get tokens here, and you can, you can buy tokens for real money. So this is US money, US dollars, and it gives you the tokens. Very similar to buying land tiles in Earth 2. You know, 10 pounds there might get you, you know, five jib tiles, you know, $20 over there, get you a couple of Spanish tiles, and, well, one of these over here is the US tile price. So it's, it, the, the mechanics are nothing new. So it's interesting as well there. It's just interesting on, on how people can top up and, and, and use real Earth 1 money in, you know, Earth 2 games and virtual games. Right. So in here, again, here is the storefront. You can sit there and customize your avatar by spending real money, right? So here, 850 tokens blah de blah de blah whatever you want. You can just sit there and, 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 and buy these things. In this game, it's a lot harder to grind to tokens. It takes a long time to get tokens. I mean, that's, a, that's quite a hefty amount of cash down there in, in this game. But how can you sit there and earn money? So, for instance, you have something called the Maker Pen also. So all these items, um, you can create items. So, like, you see the little baby Yoda up there? And all this stuff behind me here, all of this was created by other users with this pen. Okay, they're models that they make, and then they can sit there and put them within their platform, right? So let's go to, um, let's go to create. Let's go to, um, where's my invention button? Make invention, there we go. Inventions, that's the button I want. Loading, get more inventions. This is what I want to show you, okay? So in here, all of this is user content. A user like myself would have used that pen to draw, to make, to do whatever, and then they upload it to this storefront. Their models are then uploaded to this storefront for other users to come along and buy their products, right? So you could buy the, the, the wands down here, the wizard wand, for 100 tokens. Um, you know, you can buy whatever. I mean, there's loads. You can see, look, over 100 pages of, of stuff. Right, so look at here. We've got a coffee table, right? A coffee table in Rec Room for 125 tokens. I could buy that. I could sit there and, and, and put, that in, put that over here sort of thing. And, and whatever, you've got the coffee table. You can, you can do whatever you, whatever you want with it. But... Saying that, if you're in Earth 2, who knows what they might sit there and um, how they might implement this. You've got your coffee, your coffee shop in, 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 in your land that you've just made in, in um, Gibraltar or, or Earth 2, the bosses, or Alpha Kingdom's main, main city sort of thing, and you need to sit there and put stuff on there. Well, someone, however the devs want to do it, I mean, this is a real simple way to do it. 
But I imagine they're going to use programs such as Unity. Um, there's another program that they use called Unreal Engine, but I'm pretty sure the devs have mentioned un, um, Unity enough times to say that that's going to be a player in this game. So if you're, if you're good at using that program, if you're good at Blender, if you're good at 3D modeling and stuff, I imagine you're going to be able to build it out in the other programs and then import it across into Earth 2 and then upload it to the storefront for other people to purchase your items. All right? And that is how another way that they could potentially monetize some of this gameplay. It's all hypothetical, but it's all, it's all just basic stuff. This is all simple stuff that most games implement. So a lot of you guys out there, I'm still worried for you because you have no idea about games. All right, you're all here, you're all the investors, you're all sitting there, you know, you're doing cryptos and you're doing this and you're doing that. You need to get your head around gameplay, people, and you need to know the mechanics of how games work. Because if we're playing a game, the gamers are going to rule the world. Dork Slayer is going to rule the world. And I'm here to help you. Don't forget that. Right, I'm going to sit there. And I'm going to see if we can't find someone who can maybe give you a proper little demo on how and how all this works something better than me. Because if not, you just get a load of smiley faces by me. And um, I don't think people want smiley faces. You all right? You can see on here all the different ways you can do it. Blah, 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 blah. You can build stuff. But I'm going to see if I can't find someone to give a proper demo and go over a cool build or something for you. And then I'll show you some rooms where they build it out with this tool and all this sort of, all this sort of stuff. All right, so let's go and have a look who we can find, people. Okay, people, so welcome to the rec center. As you can see, we've just come from our dorm room into what is called the rec center, all right? So there is another example of portals and how portals are used in gameplay. Yes, we're in VR at the moment, but it's still exactly the same concept for desktops. Hello, Rocky. <laughs> you good? Uh, All right, so here we are. So Bayful and Moon Golem. So we're here in, the, in this open expanse, right? So I'm trying to sit there and explain to people the concepts of how the Maker Pen works and how they can build stuff and import it into barren land. So the game that I'm playing at the moment it's based on, on the earth, right? But every man-made structure, all yep. the buildings, all, all everything, it's just going to be white, right? So we're going to have sky and we're going to have ground, very similar to what we've got out here. And then it's going to be up to the users in some form of what the developers give us, what tools they give us. It might be Unity as, as, a, building, as a building project. It might be Blender. It might be something. Whatever the program is they give us, it's then up to us as users to build out the world, maybe. So, so if you wouldn't mind giving us a quick run over of how you might make a basic quick model um, that you could then upload in this game onto the storefront for people to purchase, potentially. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're here now, and, and we're just having a little building competition. People are using the Maker Pen and creating little objects and little things that they can potentially then upload to the storefront. You can make literally any shape you want. You sit there and in the create button, you see all the different options here. You can use this like Babel's doing over here to change the color, to change the texture, and to just build whatever you want to build from it. I don't know how... All right, people, so here we are. We've got Vibe, we've got Babel, and we've got Moon Golem. And we're playing around with the Maker Pen, right, people? So all this in front of us right now, these guys have just made while I've been standing here watching them. Okay, they're a lot, they're a lot better than my little smiley faces that I do. So I thought it's best to find some cool people that actually can show you how the Maker Pen works better. Okay, so what Vibe's been up to over here, look, for instance, he sat there and he's just made a picture of me, right? So what I want to sit there and show you now is the Vibe's made this. But what he's also done is he's uploaded it to his invention platform. So anyone can now sit there and download that item and use it in their, in their, in their room with their make pen or potentially place it on their land in Earth 2, right? So let's go to our make pen. Let's go over here. So we're in, um, 
people. Let's go to nearby. Let's go to um, Vibe over here. Look, look at his profile portfolio. So here is all of Vibe's items and inventions. So what we're looking at here, this could be Nameless's um, portfolio. This could be Tech Ops. This could be E2 the Bosses. It doesn't matter. And look here, look right here, people. That is British guy made today and uploaded to Vibe Store. So that's pretty neat. And that's something I could imagine the devs doing in the terms of making programs with, say, Unity and uploading them across into Earth 2 and having other users being able to buy other programs and other 3D models in Earth 2. So that's just another little something I wanted to show you. All right. OK, people, so here we are now and we are in Paintball. So how we just sat there and looked at that maker pen in the last little video, here again, everything in front of you that you can see is possible to um, make with that pen, even down to the mechanics of the weapons and everything. So I know it's very basic, but you can sit there and see how stuff can be made now and, 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 and how people can then interact with games. See how simple it all is? The game mechanics, visually. People love paintball. This is a private game. This is just a quick private game, just so I can show you around how it all looks and stuff. There we go. <laughs> okay, people, so here we are in yet another room. This one here is another user built out room. We are in the multicolored parkour place. We're out with uh, kids who should be here somewhere and Courtney. We're going to have a little look around and see what there is in here to do. Why are we here? I just want to show you this over here. So a user has built out this room, right? This could be Nameless, this could be Tech Ops, this could be anyone in the game that we're already playing over in Nerf 2. And over here, in the program they've built out, they want to charge people to wear their items. Okay, so you could buy this item for your avatar and you then have the right to own this. And this is a user created item. These are expensive as anything, so I won't be doing that today. But um, anyway, so let's go and have a look at the parkour has to offer. Okay, so after playing a little bit of parkour, we're having a little bit of a break now. So you see how he just got that out of his backpack. All of these items are consumables and cost tokens. People love to buy stuff. You know, you saw earlier how to get tokens, you can use real money. So all of these items, in, 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 in essence, can cost real money. And people buy them like crazy. Um, people buy them, eat them, drink them, and they're gone, you know? It's just another game concept of how to monetize some of these games. And these these, these young guys, they, they, they love it. It's all a bit of a laugh, it's all a bit of fun. Having a bit of a red velvet cake now. Always, always yummy. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was just a little over walkthrough about some of the stuff that you can do, and some of the other game mechanics to storefronts, um, how you can sit there and buy stuff, customized avatars, and, and just a little bit of a, more insight into some other gameplays. I mean, I know this is all in VR, and I know the devs are going to make it out onto a desktop game first, um, but the, it's all about the mechanics, people. The mechanics are all the same. You know, buying, selling, trading, you, you, it's, all, it's, all, it's all the same. Um, I look forward, to, I've got another couple of games I want to try and show you, but I have to sit there and get it loaded up again on the computer to show you. Um, I've been stuck in VR for a while these days, and especially with Earth 2, so I don't know if I've even got the games loaded up on the computer. We're going back in time, people. We might have to start checking out some RuneScape and some uh, Civilization again. All right, well, thanks for, thanks for watching. I hope this is a bit helpful to you. Um, yeah, see you again soon.